That is it, guys. Full-time Rangers are through to the semi-final of the Europa League. What an absolute cracker of a game of football that was. A really good advert for European football and Scottish football. Wow, what a performance. It showed tenacity, grit, the nitty-gritty side of it. And not only that, they controlled the game. Rangers, what a performance, what a result. And they are now through to the semi-final of the Europa League. But before we get into this analysis and match reaction, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Honestly, it helps more than you can imagine. Please. <laughs> but what a game of football. A true roller coaster of emotions, but a lot of a lot of things we can go into deep like deep deep analysis of. Uh, quite a few questionable decisions maybe from the manager. Hindsight's a brilliant thing, but let's start off straight away. I think Kemar Roof is the biggest talking point. I think there were a lot of question marks before this game. Is is Kemar Roof good enough to lead the line for Rangers? Obviously, he is definitely a step down from um from Morelos. I think we all knew that. I think everyone knows that, let's be honest. But I think he showed everything you needed to do to lead the line for this Rangers side. I thought today he was absolutely integral to everything that was good about Rangers. He set a real standard and not only that, he set the pace. From the get-go, he was pressing those defenders and you could see he was riling them up. He was really winding players up, literally from the, the first start. And I think that's where the goal came from, his initial press. And he set the standard and, and I th you could see the defence was a bit, oh, OK, OK, this is not what it was like in the first leg. Obviously, they didn't play with the similar system. They played in the first leg with Sakala up top. So I thought Kimon Roof offers something different with a proper number nine. That's no disrespect to Sakala, but I think with Kimon Roof, you know what you're going to get with him. And the fact that he had the goal disallowed, but he came back and scored that huge goal. And I think that will do him the world of good. Good confidence now to move on to the next game because Leipzig will not be a walkover. I'll tell you that now, but... I want to go into another, a few other players. I thought Arebo, I thought today was absolutely class. He was a player, I said before this game, Arebo and Ramsey, those two have to start. Because I thought Arebo looked really good when he came on. He just, it's just dynamism when he's going forward. Honestly, he's so difficult to play against. Ryan Kent, you know what you're going to get with him. But Ramsey, I thought he had that touch of class. Yes, a couple of times he did give the ball away and things. But I know there's the whole discussion about his fitness and things. But I think he showed tonight, you need him. You really need him because he operates in those holes and players get drawn out, don't know whether to mark him and he operates. He's a really difficult player to mark, but you could see it quite a few times. His touch of class would take the ball in situations where no other player would. And I thought he was honestly so, so good today. So good. But Aribo, Kent was class. Tavernier, you know what you can get with him every time. I feel like I say the same thing about him every week. He was, again, he was absolutely class. I thought one person who, the two players that, for me, set really, really good, solid base. Is Ryan Jack and Lundstrom. I thought Ryan Jack today was absolutely class. He operated. He just kept moving around. He just plays it simple. And that's what I really like. He breaks up playing. It didn't allow them to counter-attack because that was the thing today. When you look at it, Rangers dominated that game. 31 shots is absolutely mental when you think about that as a number. 31 shots. They're 69% possession as well. It just shows... Yes, you can, we can discuss and the fact that they didn't take their chances, but that's a good start. The fact that creating that many chances is, is integral to move on in this competition. But then there are question marks with a lot of the finishing. There was quite a few chances where really this game should not have gone to extra time. They shouldn't have allowed this. Rangers really should have. They could have in the first half just finished that game off. And the goal came from poor defensive error from uh, Goldson. Goldson was caught lacking. He was turned around telling the players who to mark and things when he wasn't marking himself. And that's just little things like that, lap little lapses of judgment and concentration, which they really need to be erased from their game. Because if Rangers really want to go on, Leipzig will not allow that. Leipzig are a force to be reckoned with. And we all know what happened last time, Rangers in Germany. But we're not going to talk about next the next fixture because we're talking about this game. But I thought uh, Bassi. I thought Bassi struggled a little bit today. I, I think it was a bit odd. I don't know. I don't know what it was. He, he just seemed to really look. He was like he was nerves. Got to him a couple of times. He gave the ball away. It's something I don't really usually think of when I think of Bassi. I usually think he's a great player, reads the game well. But a couple of times he's caught again lacking, and that's my problem. That's my only worry. I thought Goldson and Bassi didn't look too strong today. And that in the moments that they had, I'm saying overall, yes, they weren't really tested. But in the moments they were, there were little lap, laps in judgment in moments. But I thought Barisic was absolutely class. I thought the balls he was whipping in down that left-hand side. Um, Silver on that right, who flourished in the first game, but was really had a, a torrid game. But Barisic and Ryan Kent bombing on down that left-hand side were creating so many chances. It was all coming down that side. And it was absolutely class. Some of the balls he was whipping in, jeez. Honestly, you can't defend it. You simply can't defend it. And yeah, overall, I think it was a really, really solid performance. But question marks maybe with decisions, with substitutions. I didn't understand why Ryan Jack went off. Uh, what was I saying? I, I understand why he went off. But it just, 
I felt like at that time, really, the, 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 the tie should have been finished by that point. They should just Rangers should have just kept the ball, but it was it was like a, a naivety maybe or arrogance where when Broncos made decisions where I just thought, what why what are you doing? What what, what you keep you need to keep this solid base and I, they didn't have that when Kamara came on. I didn't think Kamara had a bad game. Don't get me wrong, I thought he was okay, but I thought our field was poor. I thought Balogun wasn't great. Scott Wright. Again, I don't think he did enough. I, I was just questionable decisions because you want to keep a strong foundation and spine to the team. And I thought brought on players. Yes, I understand that Rangers don't have the, the strength and depth to be able to make amazing decisions. But it just shocked me a little bit. I understand like resting players and things. But Braga, you saw that. you get There were te 10 men in Braga. They came at them. And there was a point where I thought, OK, Rangers really need to sit in deep now. And, and to take this for a minute, just soak up this pressure because Braga came into it near the end. But... What a performance overall. I think there were so many good players tonight. Really good performance. And I think that just shows you the domination that Rangers should have done in the first leg and that they can do. And I tell you now, Leipzig should be worried because it's going to be a really, really great tie. But let me know, guys, who you thought your man of the match was. My man of the match today was Arebo, and I thought he was absolutely class. I know a lot of people probably say Tavernier, and I think that's a cop-out. I'm, I'm, even as much as Tavernier was absolutely amazing and he got the two goals, so... Like, I can't really argue with it, but I want to give it to Arebo because I think it was somebody who wouldn't get the plaudits and everyone would be buzzing about because he, a lot of the stuff he does goes unnoticed. But I thought today he was the difference. I thought he was absolutely class. But what a great performance. What a great game. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'm absolutely buzzing for the next leg. But yeah, book it out of summer over and out. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.